Hey guys, and uh, here I'm back and I'd like to show you how I'm, uh, how I'm investigating. So you see, we're currently in the record mode, but deck is not recording. And I opened schematic, I found uh, erase head, I found BS oscillator, I found control switch transistors. I see zero voltage, it should be 23 volts, and it goes to the uh, amplifier U607 right and it goes to the transistors which supply power uh to the bs oscillator right and i measure and i'm getting here you know it's uh, minus 0.6 volt for some reason so let me show you uh q6 2021 uh I, so that's a meter q620 and it shows minus 0 0.6 volt and same with uh, this 21 it's all right then next i'm going up using this power supply lane to the transistor q622 and it should have 23 volts on emitter and 24 volts on collector okay let's check it q22 emitter it has 23 volts right and collector from the other side here it has 22.4 volts perfect so this means that this line between co collector of this transistor 23 volts and here to this transistors and this op op amp is broken that's why i will open the board and check this line this trace actually on the board and see because i i'm started measuring from this resistor it has 30 volts here like 23 and 8 volts here it's perfect and it gets to this transistor and after this transistor it just don't work okay now let me check this is resistor 637 this one big one let's check from both sides let's me around it again side okay we already don't have so the power is broken between this transistor and <laughs> this resistor I at least we localize the problem now I turn it off power supply I will remove the pins and pull board out and see what's going on with the traces Okay, guys, I believe the problem with this glue which corroded and shorted the pins. Now, let me remove this glue from down the board here. And let's measure again. See you soon. Okay, now when I clean it, all the traces of this glue from this board, it was multiple places when it was applied. We may try to turn this on and measure the voltage if it will get back to normal let me put it back and i will measure it together with you okay guys i have cleaned the glue but it looks like this did not help so we still on the capacitors have minus 0 0.6 volts despite on the output of the transistor we have 22 volts uh, okay, I will open it again and see what else, maybe the root cause. I will get back to you soon. Okay guys, and here the transistor 622, which don't work as transistor anymore. It gets tested as two diodes. Never seen this before. Uh, 
and specifically different voltage which falls on each diode, you see? So this transistor is bad, so I will be replacing it with a new one and hope after that everything will start to work. So and it sits right here in the middle. See you soon. Okay guys, and it has not been seen under the green tint, but now when I remove it, you see that under the glue, the trace has deteriorated and there is a cut in the trace. And it was like uh, on the corner with the resistor, that was I was not able to see a root cause. So it appears that the base of the control transistor is disconnected from the control signal and that's why it don't open. Let me fix it and let's measure if it starts working. See you soon. Hey guys, and this was not everything. Uh, I installed a new transistor, connected it. Looks like uh, control signal on the base is changing between 23 and like 4 volts. It should work in, but it did not. So then I removed the bias generator and it still didn't work. And then I decided to check transistor again and I got uh, just a single diode. So you see, and that makes me think that something wrong with the bias generator. I'm a solid new transistor, measure it, and now it's turned on and off. Uh, necessary power supply right so now it's worked another one second transistor but now is the way i need to open and see what's wrong with this bio generator uh, to fix this deck see you in the next part when i will open it okay well that's a lot really or just buy a generator, two coils, two orange capacitors, two regular capacitors, and we have two more just sitting outside here. Like, uh, and lots of small capacitors and transistors. Okay, I will replace one, two, three, four, and let's see if it will start working. See you soon. Okay, guys. And here we finally plan. It's a 10 kilohertz, both channels, uh, same levels, in phase, everything's fine. A little bit of adjustments on the frequency response side to make it work better. Uh, I fixed the bias generator, as you watched in my previous parts. So the next step would be tune up recording session section to make sure everything will work ideally. Thank you a lot for your time. Uh, see you on my next part and bye bye. Hey guys, and here I'm just adjusted the bias, adjusted all parameters, and finally it records really well. And like uh, I'm pretty enjoying the bike system. You see. I'm just recording this and uh, without the bags and like the bags even like extends the dynamic range so bus comes more deep and dynamics are much better same as my separate box uh, it's maybe a little bit lost on the details on the high frequencies but all in all like considering the dynamic range and if you're listening jazz music or soul music relaxing music this comes very very well it's probably not ideal for the rock music when you like to have more high frequencies but all in all it's it's very very good with the bags and both decks i had to resolder the wax connectors on the board because boards looks to be heavy and all, all like um, soldering pins has cracks in it so and it was like same as the other, other deck left channel was disconnecting on the debug side when I turn it on, so now I resolder it and everything works pretty fine. Why? Right. Waiting for idlers, they should come like tomorrow. I will reassemble everything and we'll see.
We'll do a demo for you how these decks will be playing. See you. Bye bye. Okay, guys, <laughs> this stick is probably the most convenient deck to replace idler because you just remove two screws, remove the motor, and you have access to replace the idler. You don't need to pull up tape transfer to open anything. Pretty cool. I just got a set of new tires. I will measure it, and if it fits fine, I will replace. They look a little bit bigger than the one is which is there. So let me measure first. See you in a minute. And here guys I decided to make a video. So I removed the old tire. And you may see that they are very different on the diameter. So this one has 6 mm inside, 10 mm outside diameter and 2.5 mm width. And this one, which I received in this batch, is, I um, believe, 10, not 12 and a half, and 2.3 millimeter. So, those are different. Unfortunately, I will have to wait longer. And to remove this reel, just remove this cut. Like it's not spacer, it's just like item which fix it. it, it just cut and like when you install here you just put it on top of this shaft okay we'll have to wait longer, sorry okay, so in this part I will be measuring params for the second deck what I was able to achieve so now installing the wow and flutter tape let me switch to wow and flutter. Start playing. Oh, yeah, speed is a little bit lower. I need to adjust it. Wow and flutter comes to 0 0.048, 49. Okay, higher than on the other deck. Other was like 45, I believe. But it's a single capstan deck, so that's not much we can ask. So I will adjust it a little bit after, because it, okay, we can do now probably. So there is a port, install it right here on the port. And let me adjust. Oops, it's too sensitive. Okay, probably I will leave with it. Let's see, it's 3002. And it's lowered while well flutter a little bit. Okay, see this pull, so I believe it comes from the take-up reel. You can hear that it's not oil, ideally. But uh, with this other tire, that's everything we have. It's pretty fine, you wouldn't be able to hear this one with water, anyway. Uh, now, let's measure I'll be my records on this guy. Type one tape, normal. Uh, let's do automatic calibration. Let's see how this can do. Okay. Calibrated. Now I'll we'll put minus 20 decibel level. Okay, it shows fine, minus 20. Uh, now start recording. It's calibrated almost like right channel, one decibel higher. And let's see 
quite nice. Wow. I did a lot with these hats. It's a new hat. I had to correct, but it's I don't like what I see. Wow. The steel was soft and pretty great. So I used uh, pre-recorded tape and it did sound very well. But you see like it gets up to 10 kilogears and then drops significantly. I don't like it. I will discuss with the owner if you will put back old head. All right, let's try different tape. Or we might try maybe just like try reference. And what we will see with reference. It's not not much better. Wow. I'm not happy. And this is a new head. And we can check a oscilloscope. We'll switch to 10 kilogears, for example, to see if we are in phase. Yeah, you see we are pretty well in phase. Oh yeah, this Ajou is there. Everything is there, but heads are just too old to maintain. <sighs> okay, you see I'm doing my best to restore these guys. Even if it's place fine now, it's still down the record. Okay, let me play more. Maybe I may do better with the deck. And hello again. And finally I'm replacing the tires. So new tires come of the proper size. So that's the older one, so see those bigger. I'm already measuring the size with my uh, caliper. So it has proper six millimeter internal diameter and 11 millimeter outer diameter. Considering that the older has just 10 millimeter, so it may be worn already. So now I will uh, remove this gear not your like, this idler from here and replace the tire and then assemble it back. So see you in a second. And here guys, I just removed the idler and replaced the tire with brand new. So new is more elastic and I suppose it should be more grippy. So let's assemble it back here and listen how it will perform now because older one was a little bit noisy okay let me assemble it back and let's check together see you soon okay guys i'm installing new at the tire and now you can hear how it will rotate No noise anymore. Fast forward. Divined. Playback. And now playback is fully quiet. Here. I'm trying like to give you a chance to hear. I cannot hear any noise. So that's appeared to be a perfect idler tires. And if you would be interested, I might share with you manufacturer. So it's good tires. I'm buying from them like from, from Nakamichi. And this time that's perfect tires for the Tic. Very good quality. If I will close the cover, 
I would not be able to hear it at all. Let me do that and let's listen together. Okay guys, so now I am assembling the cover back. And it's very quiet. That's good to know because when I've heard different uh, tick models of this H on YouTube, I have heard that they all were too loud <laughs> on fast forward and reverse. And uh, specifically what I was like not happy with when it was playing, uh, it was like uh, struggling with uh, pulling the take up reel and it was intermittent pulling. And now it's fully quiet. I think I will measure wow and flutter again and it should drop because like it was a little bit higher than I expected from this deck. Okay. So let me bring computer and let's check wow and flutter together if it will drop. Okay, here I'm attached computer. I'm playing my three kilo gears tape. Wow and flutter didn't uh, change too much as you may see but it became much more stable so the arrow is not dancing anymore very high so as far as i may see so this five hertz spike five hertz it comes to uh, rotation of the capstan speed so you see and it's dancing a little bit so the best of the best decks, which has like uh, good uh, capstan speeds and have dual capstan, they don't have this spike here on five gears. Uh, that's five gear spike I have on my Revox, and that uh, makes a problem for me. <laughs> I like to fix it, uh, but it's a rotational speed of one capstan. Okay, on Revox I have two cup stands, but right cup stand has this intermediate like uh, rotation with, with eight, eight rotation, it's speed ups a little bit and that's where it gets the spike. It's still pretty good result, so everything below 0 0.8, 0 0.9%, 0, 0.9%, you would not be able to hear. Uh, Okay, but it's, it's good results. I'm quite not sure what's going on here. At 70 gears, I'm not sure what this frequency is about. Never seen this so high. So that introduces the biggest amount of wow and flutter, as you may see. But I don't know. Maybe it's a power supply issue. But it should be 60 gears then not 70 i'm not sure let me know if you have any ideas okay so but it's extremely quiet now you more hear yourself play back it was like crowded like with every rotation of the reel it was like producing weird noise rewind Fast forward, let's see. It works well now. Okay, thanks for your time. See you when I will be opening the second deck to replace the tire. Hey guys, and I'm just replacing the idler for the second deck. As you may see, it's an easy procedure. Just remove all the tire, put new one, and it's don't require to disassemble tape transport. So just removing the motor. Easiest procedure across all decks I ever seen. Okay, let me install and let's listen if it, this deck will work quietly too as the other one. See you soon. Okay, and now when the new idler tire installed, the only thing is to put this motor back Be careful with these wires, they should go on top of the motor assembly, like that. 
And now I will just install the screws and it will be everything. As easy as that, so the easiest replacement. So unless you don't need to replace this belt for the command gear, this motor is direct drive, there is no belts, and other tire can be replaced very easily. Hope you like it, that it will help you with your fixes. Bye-bye. Okay guys, here is the other deck I just assembled, so fast forward, rewind, and finally I did a quiet playback. Great, works. So both side tires has been replaced, now this deck's are ready, and next video I will do is to make audio test for these decks. See you, bye. So here guys, as you may see, this bulb just blew up. The new one I installed. So I will replace it with LED. I don't like to replace them like every couple hours. So let me do that and I will show you how it will look like. Okay guys, and here I have LED installed. So I will shrink this shrinkable tubes and then install it back there and I hope it will perform well now. Let me do that and meet you there. Well guys, and this is the second day I still experimenting. I'm trying to put two LEDs and it's still not enough to make uh, auto stop working properly so i'm trying like so many things already i have a bulbs which are lights not so bright they work but this don't give any lighting effects for the tape background i have a lamp which shine so bright that everything works but <laughs> they blow up after couple hours of work so I'm not sure what to do like two LEDs is a good brightness looks to be not enough okay let me think more see you soon okay guys this deck works only with mega bright lights <laughs> and if you don't have them this deck would not work uh, I will install this one I'm not sure how long it will work pretty hard to tell the other one still works so we'll see but only with this large like, not large I have say light brightness it works properly it's not so bright in reality as phone shows so let me see if it can show it closer huh. The reality is not so bright. It's probably like that bright, but I want lower. But at least it works. And I remove the lamp. You see, bam, it stops. Oh, yeah. So let me install it. See you soon. Okay, guys. Yes, uh, bulb don't last long. You see, this one is darkening already. I decided to try to install LEDs just directly where the, it should go to the sensors, so they will be located right here. So you may see there is a sensor in the window, and when the wheel is rotating like that, so sensor will have light going through and then like it will not so right and it's two sensors so i have to install on each side i hope it will work because i'm already getting out of options <laughs> i'm not sure what else i can do okay let's wait while glue will dry up and i will connect them and let's see if it will work 
Hey guys, and this is attempt number 100. Alright, so what I'm trying to do, I'm trying like, to make this auto stop mechanism work. I'm already installed the three LEDs in a row and they provide enough light there. And uh, it still doesn't work. It still stops, as you may see. Right. I'm sorry, this is not everything assembled yet. Let me try do that. Oh. <laughs> Not everything connected as you see, so let's try opposite side. You see, it still stops. I can't believe it. So I'm so tired with these decks. I even don't know what else I can do. Let me think more. Okay, guys, and here is a red LED, doesn't work. Three white LED, doesn't work. I'm running off options with this deck, really. I'm trying like everything. Only very bright bulb works. Everything else, even if you see there is light comes through, deck thinks that it's not enough. Pity. Okay, it's the final configuration I found which works is a bulb with current limiting resistor okay so let me show you uh, now the counter works and auto stop mechanism works so i put 62 ohms here oh it's getting hot i need a bigger resistor oh mamma mia this deck like uh, really built to the age, I would say. Like when they've been young, they did work, but over age, it's pretty hard to find the proper parts. You know, it's 12 volts, and I'm installing 12 volt bulbs, but you see, like resistor is getting hot. Yeah, it's, it's quite hot, so I don't like it. At least now, now I know that. Uh, with this light it works and it's not much brighter than the leds but maybe it requires some different spectrum i tried so many leds and it didn't work for me uh, i believe i had somewhere one or two warm white leds i can try those but that probably would be it Okay, thank you. See you guys. Bye-bye.